Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Khalil Quickcard, and welcome to Stardew Valley. I love stuff like Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, Animal Crossing. I love these games. I always have. And Stardew Valley has been on my list of things to play for years. I never got around to it because I always assumed, and I'm probably right, that once I start playing this, I will basically not stop for probably quite a while. I get hooked on these sort of games very easily. I find them very relaxing. Well, I find myself in a situation where I have decent chunks of time for the foreseeable future. So, I think it's finally time. I've played about an hour of Stardew in my life. So, the overwhelming majority of this game, I don't really know anything about. We're just going to turn off the music for now because the uh, audio doesn't actually... Interesting. Hmm. Is there sound? Uh, Stella there. Are you, are you getting audio? Like, are you able to hear that music? I genuinely don't know. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about this. Okay, now I know for sure I'm getting audio. Oh, right. The reason it wasn't reading game audio is literally because I had it off. I'm smart. I'm a streamer. Uh, actually, I kind of like that. How about pants? With all the work I'm going to be doing, I think we do need long pants. Uh, ooh, I do see glasses. Yeah, I think I kind of like those best. Animal preference. Um, hmm. Yeah, nice little, nice little thing. Pants color. Can we... Yeah, make that a little darker. And... Hair color. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Got kind of a nice, uh, a nice little look to it. Uh, the farm name will be the Quilbo Farm. And my favorite thing, you know, what? I just love games. Let's get going. And for my very special grandson, I want to, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Why do you have a cutlass on your wall? No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. 
Now, listen close. Okay, I'm listening. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later, judging by the Roman numerals, Maybe I'm just a psychopath, but this cubicle work doesn't look all that bad. Don't know why you'd put a big terminated sticker on stuff. Well, there's your problem. Your chair's too low. Dear Quill, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Quillbo Farm. We're just going to drop that game audio for a sec. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? There we go. Now it's actually got, like, quieter audio. It drives me a little crazy when games don't adopt, like, adjusted audio until after their openings. Ah, I do love my tea. Hello, you must be Quill. I'm Robin, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I'm not going to read every line of dialogue, because even I have my limits. This is Quill Bow Farm. Yeah, it's not in the best condition. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Definitely looks rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Quill. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. 
<laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. And so it begins. Alright, first things I want to do. Let's make sure all my settings are how I want them. Um, item stowing. That's fine. Slingshot style. Oh yeah, that's right. It has local co-op. I don't even know how that works. I think all of that is good. Uh, I know from my very brief times playing this that one of my first priorities is to get myself a chest. Because the first time I ever tried this, uh, I had not found the crafting menu and had no idea how to get more storage. So, parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on tilled soil to sow the crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay. And introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Sounds like a plan. First things first. Okay, I know there's a way to zoom out a little bit. Uh, zoom buttons. There we go. Those are going to be important. Let's bring down the UI scale a little bit too, just so it's taking up less of the screen. And, okay. Energy is a concern. So, I don't want to do, like, a massive area right now. Uh, pickaxe. My first priority is just to get a little area. But I am also going to want a fair amount of wood to start. But aside from that, it's best to not overexert myself at first until I have a better idea of what I actually need. So I've got two, three, four, five, one, two, whoops. So there is enough room for 15 parsnip seeds. And now for watering. Yes, you can zoom out. Uh, in fact, if you're playing on a bigger window, and believe me, I tried to make a bigger window work, and it just would not with my, um, with my OBS for whatever reason, uh, you can end up having, like, a kind of staggering amount of the screen, uh, visible at once. 
Like, it's actually really impressive. Like, I would actually be able to have vision all the way over uh, to the cave on my farm. Just standard. I really, really tried to zoom out like that. I really did, because I would prefer it that way. But I, ju I just couldn't make the OBS settings work with it. That's okay, though. It's 10 a.m. Let's go meet the folks in town. Uh, the clinic opens at 9. Well, we're past 9. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's what I needed. Calendar. So, we're starting on Monday, the 1st of spring. Lewis's birthday is on the 7th. Vincent's birthday on the 10th, a bookseller on the 11th, so the first big festival is on the 13th. So we've got just under two weeks to prepare for the first festival, the Egg Festival. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. And you can sell me some stuff too, sir. I think... I've got 500 gold to start. I think it's worth just stocking up on more parsnip seeds for now. And, uh, maybe some beans? I can get three things of beans and then another parsnip. And I can definitely get back to, get back and get all that planted before the end of the day. Uh, anyway, coming around the counter so we can talk. Hey, it's Mr. Quill, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Cool. Let's see who else we can meet. Hi. Alright, you sell some stuff, but can, can we just talk... Like, can, can I meet you? Like, I, I, I get that you're on the clock, but... Surely I can just come around the back and talk to you. Time does pass when you're indoors, okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We got a house. Hello. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Anyone home? Hmm. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. A buzz off. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Aw, you're sweet. And George, yeah, I can, I can kind of get where you're coming from. Trash can? No? It may take me a couple days to meet everybody. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Okay. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Fair enough. Nice truck. No sign of anyone here. What's this? 
it's some kind of something. The town's lost and found box. Okay. I'm gonna head back to my home around six or so. Unaptudio tu funzu snasap to pet I what? Someone appears to have scribbled over this grave. It's old and faded. There's a sewer. Oh, so most of the town is like further east and north of me. Got it. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Okay. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Alright, and so what do those services look like? You need copper to do the upgrades. And how about what you sell? You do sell copper for 75 a piece. So before I get any mining going, I might be able to um, access some stuff. Hello? You want to talk? Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm opening to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? It is now 2 p.m. So, who else lives this way? Oh, a Joja Mart. Hello? It's so lively. Uh, they sell stuff, but at higher prices. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyous experience. I saw someone up here. Hello? Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam's on the clock. How about you? Shane's hard at work. So there's a Shane and a Sam. Oh, hello, you're new. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, that's the old folks' home. So, there's still more stuff further north of me. Hello? Hello? It's locked. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for friends. Do, do any friends live up here? I might join a cult. Yeah, I mean, that's something that I tend to enjoy doing. But, you know, I think it's important that we look around. You know, don't just join the first cult that you come across. You have to shop around a bit. You have to ask questions. You have to get to find the cult that's right for you. Hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. 
All right, I definitely did not meet everybody. I've still got a bit of time. Okay, this is the bus station. Uh, I already sort of started preparing places over here, so I might as well keep at it. The ho. Okay, that's... There we go. That's three slots down. I think I have just enough energy to do this. Oh. And then I've also got... Some bean starters. Come on, plant the beans. And now to water everything. Don't waste any energy. Yes, I can see that I am very nearly at the absolute limit of my stamina. Alright. I'm pretty tired now. But that's okay, because I am at the end of my day. I can afford to be a little sluggish. Not a bad first day. Does time pass even within my own house? Yes, it does. So, I met 14. I have met half the people in town. And it is bedtime. Okay, absolutely do not overexert myself because then I have less energy the next day. Lesson learned. That's okay though. I can spend uh, today just wandering around town and foraging instead of doing any more work on the farm. So it looks like it's going to take around a quarter of my current energy to do all the watering on my farm and around an hour. So, I think the best way to go is north out of the farm, and definitely find some new folks that way. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. Willie. Alright, so we're going to make sure we hit the beach today, too. Ooh, this is... Difficult to navigate. Thank you. Uh, no, nah, I'm fine. I've, I've got plenty more slots for anything I find while foraging. Like wild horseradish. Journal to the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Okay. 
That sounds easy enough. Railroad. Hmm. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. So... There's a railroad up there, but it doesn't seem accessible right now. It's locked. Open nine... Did that say 9 p.m.? No, it says 9 a.m. All right, so I just need a couple minutes then. da 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 Alright. Hello? Anyone home? Oh yeah, there you are. You're just hidden. Greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Uh, she appears to be in bed right now. I can tell because of my disturbing psychic ability that allows me to perceive my surroundings as though from a great height. It's best not to ask any questions about this ability, lest I must kill you in order to keep my secret safe. Daffodil? Do 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 da 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 It's surprisingly difficult to actually meet everyone in town. I don't think I've ever managed to pull it off. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed. But I think deep down he actually loved that house. Oh, you look new. Hello. Hi. Truly, you are the greatest conversationalist of our time, Jess. So, we learned our lesson. Make sure I do not fully uh, exhaust myself before going to bed. I need my tea. <sighs> Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. New tool acquired. You received a bamboo pole. Cool. Uh. Oh. Uh, I actually have to get rid of something. Um. Yeah, fiber. I can get fiber, no problem. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Well, a pleasure to meet you, sir. You seem very pleasant. So, I... 
What what is like my general button for just opening my piles of s stuff? Uh, E. So, all right, I am missing like an entire row of stuff. So I really do need to prioritize uh, getting a chest built even sooner than I thought. I didn't realize that these rows were inaccessible. That is a surprising amount of driftwood. Hello. I'm just here to see if I can meet anyone. Don't think I've been in here. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone at all? Huh. So apparently an Emily and a Haley live here. I don't know how I am aware of this information. Can't go meet Sam either. Ah, here's the ranch. So, how much would it actually be if I wanted to buy a uh, buy a chicken from you in preparation for the egg festival, whatever that is? Ice Ranch open nine to four most days. Hello? Anyone home? Why does no one want to be my friend? Come and meet me. Be my friend. I will arbitrarily grow more powerful from this, and I seek this power. Not the most productive day of my life. Yeah, and there's no way I'm going to get back to my house going that way without completely burning through all of my energy. Darn. This might be more reasonable. There's something to grab there, but I don't have room for it. Wood, wood. Okay, I can't break down the stump. That was good for two wood. That was good for four wood. I am very close to the 50 I need. Let me through. That's 44. That's a wood. Okay, I think that's as far as I can push it. 
I, ca I can grab a last wood tomorrow. That shouldn't be too difficult. Then I can make a chest and I will have somewhere to store stuff. So, is there anyone just wandering around town after five? I, I still need to meet people. Hello. What? What do you want? Go away. Well, aren't you polite? The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Oh, the, the saloon, of course. There's got to be people hanging out at the saloon. Hey, guys, give me another round. <laughs> oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Ah, relax and enjoy yourself. Cool. You know, it might be a good idea just to hang out here in the saloon for a couple hours uh, or just around it, see if anyone else sort of congregates in this area. Because I have now met... I've now met 19 out of 28 people, so I only got an extra five today. Oh, that's Marnie. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. Okay. He helps me out with the chicken, so I'm not complaining. You. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Cool. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I would imagine so. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Is, is that it? Okay. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Nope. I've already met you. Anyone else? No? No one else snuck in here while I was away, did they? Okay, yeah, it's, uh... It's getting late now. I think it's time to head back home. Rest up for tomorrow where I will finally, finally have some storage. Not bad. And so ends the second day. Oh. Well, isn't that convenient? There we go. That is wood. So crafting, chest... We're going to put the chest right here. And we're going to plop a chest down right here. I'll put all these things in here. Um, probably not going to need the hoe for right now. Let's just put all this in here and then reorganize it. Uh, axe, pickaxe, scythe, watering can, bamboo pole. Sounds good. And the chest itself can be that nice orange color. And it even has an automatic sorter, which is nice. 
Now, I did have to sacrifice a fair bit of fiber. So let's recollect fiber. Chop down a tree. Because I am always going to be needing more wood. Some more stone. Can I trap you down? You look like a very tough tree. Given that it's a rainy day, I'm willing to bet that most characters would stay indoors. So I may have the opportunity to uh, find a few extra people. This tree has to go. It obscures my vision. Perfect. And these rocks too. There. Let's put all that stuff there, organize it, and head into town. Hmm. Ah. What are you? Dandelion. I still have no money. So can I just fish in any body of water? How does, how does fishing work? Okay, I guess fishing works like this. Let's try a stronger cast. Nothing? Okay. Sewer entrance. What are you doing outside? Hi, right, Quail. Taking a break? No, I'm trying to stay dry. What the hell are you doing? You crazy person? Oh, there's one. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's not exactly the healthiest attitude. So, I've still got several people I need to meet. And I automatically know that even the people that I haven't met are single. You know, because this is just a normal thing, I guess. That's right. Lewis's birthday is near the end of the week. I don't know anything about him. Uh, I might have a parsnip to give him by then, or, I don't know, maybe I can find a fish or something. Is that a seashell? Clams. Clams and mussels. 
It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Hmm. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. 300 to reach a little something over there, huh? Let's see if I can catch anything in the ocean. Wait, I think I just got a nibble. What the hell kind of sound was that? It's surprisingly obnoxious to catch fish. In anything? Anything at all? Do I need bait? Is my problem that I'm not using any bait? A fish smoker. Ooh, that takes a lot to build. Training rod. Fish tanks. Okay, pretty basic stuff. Alright. Well, once again, I need to check. Is, does anyone want to talk to me? Does anyone want to meet me? I still need to meet another six people. I'm pretty sure one of them is the wizard, because I know there's a wizard. They're probably hanging out in areas that I just haven't been yet. Is anyone shopping at Pierre's? Oh, no, of course. They're closed on Wednesdays. How silly of me. I've already met you. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, may maybe you should try to get some sleep. That'll probably be good for your health. Okay, I'm going to give this one more shot today. I want to see if I can catch anything at all. It looks like something's nibbling. Hit. Okay. Wait, so what do I, what do? I do? Okay, so I, ne I need to keep the bar on this fish? Is that how it works? Okay, easy enough. Alright, I, I caught a foot-long bass. Nice. I caught a fish. I am now entirely self-sufficient. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Well, I mean, I didn't have a lot of options. Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. It, it really does. Upgrade house. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It'll cost 10,000... You'll need to provide me with 400 pieces of... 450 pieces of wood. Farm buildings. Okay. Coop. A barn. A well. Ooh, wells might be useful. Silo. A mill. Okay. A shed. Interior can be decorated. A fish pond. Ooh, that's interesting. A cabin. Pet bull. 
stable slime hutch. Shipping bin. All right, none of those seem particularly useful. Oh, I can just buy material from you. Big chests? Lots of uh, basic home things to do. Braziers. Hmm. Uh, I also don't think I have met you. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Perfect. All right, I've already found two new people today. I think that's all the major areas in town. At least I've checked the exteriors of. What is this? And it still won't let me in there but I can get a daffodil they do have a, a nice basic playground though I think I'm going to try the uh, saloon plan again hello it's nice to meet you you picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Well, thank you. I saw a person. Oh, that's just Lewis. Hmm. <laughs> this is not good weather for sports. Oh, well. I could always lift weights inside. Ah, you're one of those. Got an arcade. Hello. What do you want? A skull-shaped keyhole. What? What? Journey of the sh... Okay. Alright, there, there's, there's a mini-game. This is kind of like, um... Oh, God. This is kind of like Robotron, isn't it? I've never actually played Robotron, but... I, f I feel like this is like Robotron, despite having never played Robotron. Uh, never having... Wow. And uh, never having seen Robotron... But I somehow feel like this is Robotron. I think I'm basing this exclusively on... Uh, like, old, um... Nintendo Power... Articles. I think that's where this weird little certainty comes from. Okay. I, yeah, I think we'll quit. That was interesting. Hmm. This weather makes me thirsty. Interesting thing to say. A jukebox. Ooh, hello. Have a we met? Hi, Quill. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? Oh, hey there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. A lot of people coming to the uh, saloon on a Wednesday night. So, I got two or three people today, didn't I? Yeah, there are three more people in town I haven't met. 
And of them... Okay, I guess the wizard doesn't count because there's four people left on this list. Uh, despite having never met these people, knowing nothing about who they are, where they are, what their interests might be, uh, I am already intimately familiar with their faces and the fact that they are single. It's, you know, just one of my superpowers, I guess. I've still got a bit of time. So I can keep clearing more of the farm. What is, what is that sound? It's almost like a groaning. We're not going to spend too long cutting stuff down, but yeah, just, just a little bit. Pickaxe. I have a feeling that most of this stuff is just going to like, regrow over time. Um... Let's put in a bass and clams and mussels, I guess. As for the chest, throw all that in. We're still definitely going to need more wood. So let's chop down one tree. And then go to bed. Kind of thought it would fall in the direction that I was chopping. That's okay, though. I got mixed seeds. And sleepy time. Level up! Uh, level 1 foraging, plus 1 axe proficiency, trees sometimes drop seeds, new crafting recipe, wild seeds, and new crafting recipe, field snack. And I made 180 off of a fish. No, I made 50 off a of fish. I actually made 50 each off of the clams and the mussels. Okay. So the beach is a good place to check. That's good to know. So I did learn to make something. I learned to make wild seeds and field snacks. Interesting. First tasks first. Let's water all my stuff. I think aside from talking to everybody, one of my first priorities should be upgrading my tools. Uh, energy is a real concern. And anything that's going to increase the efficiency of my ability to gain money is worth investing in. Perfect. Organize... Not bad. All in all, things are going quite well so far. I mean, barely anything has happened, but... You know, it's still going well. 
So three people, three people I still need to meet. I should try to prioritize finding them. Um, okay. Will Elaine Hodem of Jody Kent and Sam. Have I met a Jody and a Kent? Jody Kent. I have met Jody. I haven't met a Kent. And that one is the home of Emily and Haley. Have I met a Haley? Haley, 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 Haley. I have not met a Haley. Okay, so the best thing I can do is stake out these homes just stand outside their homes holding an axe and wait for people that I have not met to come out the door. There is nothing creepy or alarming about this behavior. I'm just standing here, just waiting to meet people. Let me meet people. Why aren't you coming to meet me? You, whoever lives here, come meet me. So, you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm hungry. Where's mom? Damn it. Wait, there's one. Did they already leave just earlier in the morning? No, I can I can see a Haley. There's a Haley inside that house. This was Jody, Kent, and Sam. Okay. There are people I haven't met currently contained within these houses. And I will find them. Wait for it. In the meantime, I can fish. No, hold on, hold on. Get your ass back here and introduce yourself. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. If it weren't for these horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Well, screw you too. Hello, Penny. All right. The mission was successful. Jody. Good enough friends with Sam to enter his bedroom. So that's Sam and Jody. But it said that this was Kent's home. So, a Kent lives here, but I haven't met them yet. Home of George, Evelyn, Alex. Robin, Demetrius. 
through... So, I'm still looking for a Kent. Hmm. Got George, Sebastian, Willie, Pam, Sam, Marnie. Just trying to memorize all the names to see who I need. All right, well, if a Kent lives there, then presumptively a Kent will have to return there at some point during the day. So I can stick with my original plan of just, uh, you know, keeping a close eye on it. Any more stuff on the beach today? Because that was actually fairly lucrative. No. Well, maybe I can catch something in the ocean. Yeah, something that isn't just algae. Come on. Something's nibbling. Something's nibbling. Okay. There we go. No. This is a surprisingly difficult fishing minigame. This fish is being a jerk. No! Ah! It got away. I am apparently not a good fisherman. That is seaweed. Seaweed does not help me. At least not in the immediate sense. Eventually seaweed will help me. Come on. Hit. Okay. I might catch you. All right, I caught a three-inch sardine. Okay, surely, surely I can catch something better than a three-inch sardine. Right? Okay, come on. Ooh, this one's a little more wobbly. I caught an even smaller sardine. Okay, that's just depressing. There's, a uh, Something in the water here. Is that an indication of something special? Am I close enough to it, or do I need to be right on it? And is it even something at all? Okay. All right. Let's try from here. This time I am definitely right on that spot. Okay. Okay. 
I want to catch this, whatever it is. It was a herring! Alright, I caught three fish today. I am... Well... I'm not so arrogant that I would claim to be the world's greatest fisherman after catching a mere three fish. But, you know, I might be the third or fourth best fisherman. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, that's Jody. Okay. Someone named Kent lives in this house. I am going to meet this person named Kent. Who is Kent? How do I know of Kent's existence? Nope, that's Haley. This doesn't even... Is it referring to Vincent? Because that's Sam's room, Vincent's room, and Jody's room. Is Kent just Vincent? Is that just a nickname? And it's decided to use two different names at two different points in the uh, UI in order to confuse and baffle me? Who lives here? George, Evelyn, and Alex. I think I've met all of them. I've met Alex. I've met George, and I've met Evelyn. Okay. Emily and Haley, I've met them. Robin, Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru, I've met all of them. This is, says it's Elliot's cabin. I haven't met them. I have not met an Elliot. Oh, that's just Penny again. One of these days, I am going to find these people. Let's give it till 8 o'clock at the saloon. What do you want? Leave me alone. Well, aren't you pleasant? They have a really nice saloon here. But I think it's time to get back to town. Get back home. I can still chop down another tree or two before I really need to get to bed. And I can also sell my sardines and herrings.
Come on. Chop the tree. There we go. Another tree successfully chopped. There are a lot of butterflies living in that one. Plenty more wood. A maple seed organized. fun to plant a, to plant a maple tree. Uh, let's just put two... Well, let's put a maple tree here. And we're still in bed before ten. Not bad. Not a lot from the fish, but that's hardly surprising considering that I just sold a one inch and a three inch sardine. What can I get from the Weather Channel? Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one sort for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. That's convenient. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that a drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant to the initiative of 69901 Jojo Cola Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Uh, my parsnips are ready. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. At long last, I have achieved my great dream of being a parsnip farmer, apparently. We've got good quality parsnips, regular parsnips. We're going to sell all those. Put those there. We've got plenty of stuff. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level one and craft a stair scarecrow. Okay, what else? Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. Build a coop. Okay. And getting started was finished, and I get a hundred gold for having done that. There are still two people in town I haven't met, and it is time for a little break. So I will see you in a minute. What melting?
Hey, I'm still alive. How about that? All right, break over. Let's get back to work. First things first. I want to keep uh, trying to tear down some of these trees. Okay, these th these damn plants need to get the hell out of my way. And then these rocks need to get the hell out of my way. And axe time. I'm going to need a lot of wood. We got a lot of sap from that one. No, face that way. Thank you. Well, I'll just keep my eyes around town. I will manage to find, you know, more people eventually. This is going to be the last tree that I'm going to uh, chop today. I don't need... Could go too crazy with that. Um, I do want to make sure that I plant at least one of every crop available in every season. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it, anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. You know, I have noticed that from the fact that there's at least two people in this town who I have never seen or met in five days here. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Uh, here, let's go inside. Okay, so do not buy a Joja Co. membership. Got it. Ah, I do love my tea. Huh? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Ah, uh, hello, strange little creature. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Quill. Did we invite a crazy person to a town? Yes. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch.
Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe if you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. That's nice, uh, but I actually have other priorities first. Let's see, uh, the general store down this way. Also, if anyone I haven't met could please just wander into the street and throw themselves at me, I would appreciate it. All right, we're gonna buy one cauliflower. Oh, right, I don't have enough room to buy one of everything. Well... I, I should really focus on that first before I explore the community center. Oh. There was a squirrel. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Okay. There's some cauliflower. Here's a bunch of crap. Now I've got room for the seeds. I like to be a completionist when I play games. And, um, my understanding is that Stardew is exceptionally difficult to do that with. A backpack upgrade. Ooh. All right. So get 2,400, uh, get 2,400, um, gold. That is my top priority for right now. A catalog provides unlimited access to all wallpapers and floors. Hmm. Can't buy any of the fruit seedlings. I can buy a bunch more parsnips, though. Alright, now let's check out that community center. I like the layout of this town. It's nice. So, journal. Rat problem. There's something odd going on in the community center. Investigate the community center. Okay. Just look for anything interactable. Oh, I mean, that qualifies as pretty weird. Okay. So, I, I found a thing. I found a thing, but I can't take it with me. Is there anything else of note inside of the community center? Anything I can actually interact with, at least. Apparently they had a hell of a bank vault in here. Huh. I think that might have been the only thing I can or could interact with. Maybe if I go tell Lewis that uh, I found something. Excuse me, Lewis. 
Uh, that's Evelyn, I think. Hello? Hello, you must be Quill, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. We found one. My husband runs the general store. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. All right. That is 27 out of 28 met. Lewis, are you home? Pelican Town marriage log. After marriage, you may file for divorce here. Pelican Town ledger book. It looks like the mayor uses it to keep track of finances. He doesn't seem to be home right now. So, who's, who's that last person we're looking for? Uh, it's someone single... I wonder if they don't live or work at the ranch. Sam's trying to do a kickflip. Uh, why are you digging in the trash? I am doing this for the good of the community. You uncultured swine. Oh, there's an update. Huh. Right, Lewis's birthday is on the 7th. I should still try to catch more fish. Um, it was definitely more lucrative doing this with the river than it was with... Um, than it was with the ocean. What with the sardines being... Well, very, very tiny. Come on. Gotcha. Nope. All right. That's just algae. Whoa, crap. I didn't expect it so quick. I wasn't ready for it. Mmm. Nice tea. Well, actually, painfully generic tea. Thought I heard a noise. Ba ba da. Boo ba 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 ba. More algae. It's not exactly great. Come on. I'm patient. Okay, I'm patient, but I'm also jumpy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's Penny. I don't know you. And Vincent. Okay. Damn it. Uh, Leah? Wait. Had I met Aaliyah? Business has been slow since Jojo moved to town. What's up, farmer guy? Met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Lewis! Lewis, damn you. We need to talk. I found something weird in the community center. There's Shane. There's Jody. <gasps> there he is! Elliot! Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live on the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you really want to uh, get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Yeah, I kind of guessed that that was part of my problem. 
You can catch me at the saloon most nights. Well, it is a Friday night, so no surprise people are here. Hey, I was doing my nightly rounds and I noticed that your first parsnip was ready. Congratulations! So, I have succeeded. How to win friends. Give someone a gift. Okay. Um... I, I don't feel like some slimy algae would be appreciated as a gift. So, I can worry about doing that tomorrow. The important thing is, I did manage to meet everyone. I'm pretty sure... This is now officially the farthest I have ever done in Stardew Valley as far as actually completing objectives. Um, I think I played like day 15 once and then that was just the end of it. First we plant our parsnips, we plant our... I forget what all these are, but the important thing isn't what they are, it's that I am planting them. And eventually we're gonna have a maple tree up there. My expectation for that is that I will be able to, um, uh, get like maple syrup or something. I don't actually know if that's a thing, but I know that this game is, like, exhaustively thorough in what you can do. So, I am willing to bet that that possibility was not overlooked. And just put these things in here. We've got a good amount of stuff. Uh, why don't I try planting these mixed seeds as well? There. And I think that is... A successful day. Let's go to sleep. Level 1 farming. Plus 1 watering can proficiency. Uh, plus 1 hoe proficiency. I can now make scarecrows. And a new crafting recipe. Basic fertilizer. I made almost a thousand gold on my parsnips today. I can actually afford to really expand my farming operation. It's snowing today. So there's all sorts of things that I can find. Special items and powers, animals. I need wood, coal, and fiber to make a scarecrow. Uh, can I craft when I'm just near something? No, I do have to actually have it in my inventory. Okay. Then it is probably a good idea to craft a scarecrow. And I'm just gonna put that right here. Throw the rest of this in there. I think today is going to be a good fishing day. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. From Imresmodius Wizard. Alright, so specifically I think he lives there there. So I would need to get through uh, a significant portion of my farm to reach it. Can I break these big ones? 
I cannot. All right, good to know. Take an axe to that and an axe to that. Grab some more fiber. And now I have a path down to the wizard tower. Oh, we got a collectible. Wild horseradish. And I still need to go around the lake to reach the wizard tower. But foraging is always good. I do also really want to increase my um, my fishing skill. Journal has an update. Meet the wizard. Uh, advancement. I got 100 gold for doing that. And I want to give someone a gift today. Uh, I can just drop some like wild horseradish on someone. Is it above me? Yes, it is. I doubt anyone's going to be, like, crazy stoked to get some just horseradish. Hello? Ah! Come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred... Uh, you get the point. And you, Quill. The one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Okay, so you're a crazy person on drugs. Got it. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! That looks familiar. Hi. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm? You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Oh. Okay. I mean, you're definitely a crazy man on drugs, but you also seem to have actual magical powers. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. One with the forest? What do they mean? Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Uh, so you want me to get high too. Got it. Oh, hey, it gave me energy. Oh, no, dude. What, what are you putting in your cauldron? Uh, 
I see trees and leaves and clovers. Sir? Ah. Oh, I don't know if that was audible, but I just cracked my neck. Oh, that felt good. Oh. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of Junimo scrolls. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. What can I catch in the lake? Come on. I'm gonna catch you. I missed a chance there almost immediately, though, didn't I? Come on. Driftwood. That does not help me. Ah, damn it. I'm just jumpy with the sounds. Come on. I want to visit the shop today and uh, buy a bunch of parsnip seeds. I think it's going to be useful to initially focus on raising a decent uh, pile of funds. Got it. Trash. Well, that's useless. Apparently forest magic does not help with fishing. So, today's objective. Find someone and give them a gift of the horseradish. Uh, blah, 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 organize. And I do want to take the horseradish with me. I must give someone a gift. The gift of horseradish. Who doesn't love when you just walk up to someone and hand them a spicy herb? Pierre! Ah, hello. Don't tell anyone, but I snuck into the old community center last night. I think it's haunted. Cool, have some horseradish. What am I supposed to do with this? D I mean, nothing. I was just doing it to earn some money. So my next big objective is to build a coop. So let's grab 30 parsnip seeds. And then I'll check out the uh, community center, which I think is up on the hill, isn't it? Yeah, it's up on the hill. So, what does the scroll say? Teach me your ways, forest creatures. Okay. Foraging bundles. So they want wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion. I think I have all of that except the leek. The construction bundle, they want a good chunk of stuff. The only one I don't know how to get at all is hardwood. I don't know how or where to find any of this, but... Hey, maple syrup. All right. Summer foraging bundle. Well, it's not summer, so I can't do that. Winter, can't do that. Fall, can't do that. 
All right. So I need to go find a leak. If I find a leak, I will be able to complete the first bit of uh, foraging. And today is definitely not a social day. I'm just going to have to focus on... Um, yeah. I'm going to have to focus on getting my, uh, getting my parsnips planted. Can I cut all this? Yep. Cool. Thanks for the fiber and the mixed seeds. So I need a leaf. I need a leak. Hmm. Oh, that's a leak. That is the one thing I explicitly needed. Uh, tomorrow is Lewis's birthday. Let's see if I can catch a fish for him. Okay, or a broken CD. I am not a particularly good fisherman. Or alternatively, I might be an unbelievably amazing fisherman, considering that I can consistently fish up things like broken CDs. And it seems like that kind of specific junk would actually be fairly difficult to hook. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. We, we have a fish. We just got a large mouth bass. All right, that is going to be uh, Lewis's gift tomorrow. Hello. I'm happy by myself, you know. Well, you know, I'm glad to hear that. You know, it, it's important to be, you know, comfortable and, and happy with yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to plant a whole crap load of stuff. Stuff. I am definitely going to need my hoe, aren't I? Let's put all this stuff away for right now. Let's grab my hoe. Okay. That music, or that sound effect, whatever it is, it's very haunting. Oh, I found clay. Cool. It's all still wet. So that was actually the absolutely perfect amount of material. So now I need a leek, the horseradish, the daffodil, and the dandelion. Honestly, I think I'll sell the bass and then uh, give the parsnip as a gift tomorrow. That seems more practical. But I can still visit the community center today and uh, immediately complete the spring foraging bundle. So how do the skills work? 
Uh, there's farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. Okay. I do know that there is a cave that I can go into and uh, fight in and collect the material. But I haven't been prompted to do that yet, and I don't think I can do it until I'm prompted. So my reward is going to be bridge repair, I guess. And there's the bundle. So, my rewards... I get 30 spring seeds. That's a lot of damn seeds. Oh, and we're actually revealing more objectives. Okay. Is this just going to be for things to repair? Spring crops bundle. So, you, uh... Alright, well, I'm actually growing one of everything, so... I, c I can definitely bring you that. Um... Alright, you also want quality crops... Artisanal things, fall animal. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. So, as I unlock more bundles, I will get more objectives. River fish bundle. Okay. Crab pot. Oh, mussels and clams. Specialty fish? Ocean fish. Lake fish. And night fishing. Ooh, that's interesting. Reward glittering boulder removed. Hmm. Alright. So we've actually got a good a, a good pack of objectives right now. Uh, in the meantime, I can go and plant another 30 seeds tonight. My energy should hold up. Um, it's gonna be kind of mismatch, kind of a mishmash for this first uh, season, apparently, but... It's okay... Uh, because I am going to manage to, um, get a lot of cash from doing this. For the time being, though, all of our efforts are going to be focused in this area where we have Scarecrow protection. We've got seven more... And that's all my seeds. And thank goodness for the rainy day. Organize. That all looks good. Um. Yeah, let, let's actually go and... Uh, Try just one round of night fishing before bed. It's not going to hurt anything if I go to bed at 10, as far as I know. Okay, I, first I need to access the lake, please. Alright, let's see if we can catch anything tonight. Focus. Patience. 
Don't click until I see the exclamation point. There it is. I can't believe that there's, like, surprise chests to open while fishing. Alright, a smallmouth bass. And, uh, oh my god, I got bait and copper ore. That is so damn good! Oh, that's awesome! I can actually, um... Well, I don't know how to smelt copper, but... Once I figure it out, I will have some copper. And there we go. That was my most productive day yet. Level one fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. A uh, hundred gold from the fish. And it is now day seven of spring and Lewis's birthday. Sounds like it's raining again. Uh, how's going to be the weather for tomorrow? Beautiful sunny day. Okay. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouthwatering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Alright, I learned how to cook stir fry. Ah, no, put put the bowl back. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of uh, the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Yeah. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. You learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. So, my first thought, honestly, is I think... Okay, I, I am guessing here. But generally, in these sorts of games, upgraded watering cans cover a bigger area? And I would really benefit from a bigger area. So, what does it take to craft a furnace? Oh, crap. It takes 20 copper ore. Alright, so I can't even make a furnace to smelt it yet. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to take the parsnip into town today. Um, honestly, it might just be worth... Hmm. Yeah, it might just be worth fishing today. That's a good load of crops. Uh, the beans aren't ready for harvest yet. And I should also check the beach, because clams and mussels uh, were also part of the bundles. And I want to be aiming to complete those bundles as efficiently as possible. 
Is Lewis up? Okay. Lewis isn't even up yet. Um, how, how do I use the bait? Must first be attached to a fishing rod. Okay, so how... How do I put bait on a rod? I don't know how I attach it to a fishing rod. Does it use it automatically? No. My amount didn't go down. So it doesn't use it automatically. Right clicking doesn't seem to accomplish anything. Hmm. Hello? Lewis, good morning. Ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. That's great. I brought you a parsnip. Ah, oh, you remembered the old mayor's birthday. It's very thoughtful of you. And it's a nice gift. Well, thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it. Can you tell me how the hell to use bait? Uh, crafting a furnace, that's a main objective. Almost everything else I use... I, okay, I genuinely have no idea how to do this. I'm just going to Google it. How to put bait on rod Stardew Valley. Um, oh. You can only equip bait on a fiberglass rod or iridium rod. Oh. Okay. So, literally, this rod can't have bait attached to it. Kind of weird, but sure. I, I guess the important thing is that when the time comes to use a better fishing rod, I will have bait. Another broken CD... I'm going to need a bunch of copper. Well. Alright, I got a perfect. And I got a small mouth bass. So, I'm going to try heading... To the north end of town. Um, Adventurer's Guild and the Mines. I think it's going to be worth seeing if I can get into the mines. Because uh, I'm going to need 20 copper. Before I even have the ability to smelt copper. And I do have plenty of energy today. Um, I think we can just get rid of this broken CD. And I can always eat the parsnip later. Hmm. 
I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably some good stuff down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Yeah, we have a sword. This is a farming game and I have a sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Okay, so I have a sword. Um... What, what else can I, uh, uh, I really should have, uh, grabbed some extra stuff, but that's okay. We'll see, we'll, we'll just come in here, we'll just start bashing rocks, use up as much energy as I can, and then I'll just eat that parsnip and it'll make room for the, uh, copper ore. No, I don't... Uh, screw it. I'm, eat I'm eating the leak. I want my copper ore. I can afford to spend a few hours down here in the mines, just collecting stone and... Hopefully copper. I've got six copper at home. I'm growing a lot of leeks, so I'm definitely going to get more leeks. So I don't think I need to worry much about not having enough food. All right, there are my first enemies. Whoa. Okay, go, 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 go. So I can eat the leek, or the, the parsnip. Now I have slime. Uh, screw it. Eat, eat the, eat the fish. What is this? It's quartz. Okay. I still really want to try and find... A bit more copper. I think the most copper comes out of those ones that clearly have like veins in them. I'm at 10, uh, 10 copper ore right now. If I can get out of here, with enough to make the furnace, that would be ideal. There we go. All right. That gives me enough material to make a furnace. Let's leave the mine. Then the Adventurer's Guild is right over here. They should be open right now. Proven Adventurers only. Alright, uh, apparently they just don't think I'm good enough yet. I mean, honestly, I can't blame them that much. But journal, explore the mine, reach level 5. 
I will do that eventually, but not right now. Not today. Right now, my priority is to build the furnace. <sighs> the furnace is important. My pri my primary objective right now is to buy the backpack upgrade because that's going to triple how much I can just carry around on me at any given moment. That's the first thing I need to focus on. Uh, we can put away the quartz, the slime, the bait. We need more slime. We need more copper. And... We do have enough to craft the furnace. So we're just going to put a furnace right here. And it requires coal. Okay. Uh, I've got four coal. What is the ratio? Requires five ores. Okay. So I don't have enough material yet to do that. Interesting. Is there anything else immediately useful I can build? Uh, fences, gates. Basic fertilizer. Um, I can make fertilizer. I can make a lot of fertilizer. I don't have anything I can do with it immediately since I've already tilled the area. But I do have daffodil, leek, wild horseradish... So, if I could get another dandelion, I can make wild seeds. I can forage a little bit down here, just to see if there's anything uh, before I run to bed. And I can try... Oh! That's a dandelion. That's what I was looking for. Not bad. How much is it to make just paths? Just one cobblestone a path? It might be worth actually just setting a path down. That to the side just where nothing can overgrow. Okay, that's one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More seeds. There. All right. We got some time. Let's do some let's do some collection. I'm still going to need a lot of material that I don't have yet. The amount of lumber I am going to need to make this work is pretty crazy. These little sapling trees, I think I want to leave those. Because I'm pretty sure they don't drop anything. And I need the wood that they will eventually drop once they get bigger. Oh, and inventory full. I didn't even notice.
Okay. I think that went well. Smelting. Now that you've built a furnace, you can smelt some metal. According to Clint's instructions, if you place five copper ore and one piece of coal in the furnace, it should produce a copper bar. Okay. Interesting. Can I fish in my pond? Is that a thing it will let me do? Well, I'm sure it'll let me do it. I guess the better question is, can I get anything from fishing in my pond? A soggy newspaper. Uh, that does not seem like the sort of thing that would help me. But I can sell the soggy newspaper, uh, the broken CD, driftwood is trash, uh, I can't remember if the smallmouth bass was anywhere in the uh, community bundles. Do, do I have any way of seeing the bundles without going to the... Um, that last cast may have just exhausted all my energy. Level 1 Mining, plus 1 Precax Proficiency, New Crafting Recipe, The Cherry Bomb. This plot layout might uh, backfire on you. Uh, how do you mean? At this point, I'm just trying to keep it all just close to home. Yeah, worthless trash. Day 8 of Spring. On the 13th, we have the Egg Festival. I still got all my energy back for the day, so that's okay. I think until most of this grows... I'm pretty much just going to have to be dedicated to uh, spending my days here on the farm. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to spend like two and a half hours doing this watering, huh? Fill up again. Not bad. Yeah, once this is all done, I'm just not going to have the energy to spend uh, in the mines. Maybe I could do a little bit of fishing. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Yes, it does. Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. Yeah, I... I am aware of that. 
The problem is I cannot afford it at this point. All right, so today's objectives are going to be... Um, actually, this is the ranch, but you're not, like, selling anything. Cinder Sap Forest, Pelican Town... Uh, I want to double check my bundles to see what I need for that. Uh, do a little bit of fishing. Might even be lucky enough to get something I need for one of the bundles. Do, 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 do. Okay. It's going pretty well. Uh, I almost had it perfect. Smallmouth bass. And fishing doesn't actually use up all that much energy. So, it's a good way of getting little bits of money. Um, I should also check the beach. Because if there's clams or mussels there, those are on the bundle list. Okay. There we go. No, I want these treasures. The treasures are worth it. That's a sunfish. That was definitely in the bundles. And I got some stone too. Da 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 da. I do like that this isn't... <sighs> I glanced away for a second and then I heard the little sound. Did it again. Don't mind me, Haley. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm just fishing. No need to judge me on my appearance. There we go. Another hit. Ooh. Gotcha. Smallmouth bass. Hi. Hi, Penny. Alright, beach time. I like that, uh, that unlike Harvest Moon, I don't have, like, a specific, um, like, time pressure on me. Like, my first Harvest Moon was Harvest Moon 64, and that was, um, 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Hello. I kind of knew this town myself, but I feel, really feel at home. That's good. Alright, I have some stuff for the bundles. Oh, that's just Penny again. So, new backpack, absolutely essential. I need to carry things. Uh, other absolute essentials include uh, upgrades. So, I can do the sunfish the night fishing I don't have anything lake fish don't have that oh I don't need all of them I just need some of them okay sardine tuna red snapper tilapia I don't have any of the rest of those right now.
And then the crop bundle. This one, I still need a parsnip, a green bean, cauliflower, and potato. That's going to be easy enough. Um, and I also need five high-quality parsnips, which I may get just pure RNG. Um... The construction bundle, if I can find a way to get hardwood, will also be a priority. For the time being, I can't really get any of that. So, some of these bundles are going to be absolutely impossible to fill out until like very late this first year at the earliest so this is not something i need to worry a great deal about prioritizing immediately hello don't mind me i mean you're definitely not minding me you are just standing there I mean, if you wanted to talk to me, you could. I'm just fishing. There we go. We have a hit. Come on. And it's another smallmouth bass. Alright, so where did, where did you run off to? Taking a break from work? Ah, eh, kinda. I saw you walk this way. Well, she appears to have mysteriously disappeared. Let's keep working on finding the fish. Extra fish can be sold, and that is good for me. Okay. Oh, you're a sneaky one, aren't you? Smallmouth bass. I am nearly exhausted. But I still got this cast left in me. Come on. I know you're there somewhere. Bite my hook. Which apparently not only doesn't have bait on it, but can't have bait put on it. Oh. Nope, I want this treasure. Alright, smallmouth bass. And ten bait and another coal. That's perfect. Uh, bait will be very helpful eventually I guess I suppose do 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 uh, yeah up up and around no I can't go up and around I have to go down and around This is a good way to, to spend my early days, I think, while I'm waiting to collect rather sizable hard harvests. And I'm sure the money that I make from them is going to be perfectly adequate. Um, take that, take that, take that, take that. Sell the fish. And honestly, that's... a about all I needed to do today? Weather report. How's the weather tomorrow? Clear and sunny. Good. Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. 
They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Oh, nice. Well, I've... Well, actually, actually, there's one more thing I can do today. Um, I wanted to check the calendar again. Just to be more certain about that. Uh, I know there's the Egg Festival on the 13th. But, uh, what, what was the other stuff? Um, Vincent's birthday is on the 10th. And Haley's birthday is on the 14th. Do you... Hi, Lou. Looking for seeds? You've come to the right place. Yeah, I need... 2,000 gold for the upgrade. What is this thing? Is this just like another shipping box? Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Ah. Mmm. I do love my tea. Alright, to bed we go. So, something for Vincent and Haley's birthdays. Something for Vincent and Haley's birthdays. <laughs> Weather report. No rain. Oh. We've already got some crop. Not a lot of crops ready right now, but we do have some. So that means a little more money for tomorrow. And I do have another high quality parsnip. No, go, go up. Water up. There you go. Yes, water up. Hmm. The little star on that parsnip is like white or maybe silver color. Are there different ranks? I seem to remember the ones from the bundle were gold color. Are there bronze, silver, and gold uh, high quality crops? That is a distinct possibility. on to them until I am certain, but I can sell six parsnips today. Let's try doing some, uh, some fishing down at the lake. I might have better luck at the lake. 
Okay, so easiest way to access the lake is just going this way. Got it. There's the hit. Oh. You're a sneaky jerkfish. Smallmouth bass, nothing special. But I'm getting closer. I am getting closer to my uh, first objective of getting the backpack upgrade. Smallmouth bass and some coal. So apparently there's quality fish as well. Interesting. I'll remember that. Well, that's a full inventory already. Fishing for junk sucks. I don't want weeds here. Put all that in. I don't know why I'd need to hold on to the higher quality fish. I don't recall anything that actually requires that. Um, as far as collections go... Oh, wow. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff to go after. Hmm. There's one for donating stuff to the museum. What kind of stuff does the museum accept? Uh, the museum's down here, right? Yeah. Excuse me, Lewis? Hello. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Well, thank you. Hello. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. You know, it is. It is all... That, that just always feels good. So... What, what kind of stuff do you accept? Tips on fertilizer... Or on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Uh, some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. Oh. Yeah, that's... That's going to be a little annoying. Because I have kale just right in the middle of everything. Alright, well, back to fishing. So, just right down here to the river. We might make even more profit today. Okay. This is surprisingly hard to do. We got a perfect and we got a sunfish. 
Okay, that one has a gold star, so there are different stars of quality. So the bundle's looking for gold uh, parsnips. So I may need to do another batch in fertilizer in order to make that work. Okay. No, I want I want the treasure. Oh, damn. Okay, so if you don't catch the fish, you don't get the treasure bonus either. Alright. I will remember that. Whoa. Okay. Damn it. I'm too greedy. Keep going for those bonuses. But the more I improve my skills, the more efficient I'm going to be. Come on. Another sunfish. I think I've got two more casts in me. Hello? You tried to get away from me. Smallmouth bath. Got some new ideas to sleep on. So I did just manage to raise my uh, fishing skill then. Good. Come on, fish. I know you're in there. I'm going to catch you. Whoa. Smallmouth bass. Alright, this is going to be my last cast of the day. Come on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, fish. Perfect. Another high quality sunfish. I feel damn good about that. Is your birthday tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. Still need something to give him for his birthday. And I'm pretty sure I don't have access to anything that he would like. So... It's just gonna have to be a wild guess. Um, I can sell that parsnip. I don't think he'd like seeds. Oh, uh, quartz. Maybe he'll like quartz. And quartz is a mineral, so maybe I can reach the museum before closing time. That's going to be a challenge, though. It closes at 6. So... Head to the river south and across the bridge. Got it. Okay, there's the river. Here is south. There's the bridge. I think I'm just gonna make it. And then straight across and end. Hey there! I found something. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection.
What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. It's quartz. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I mean, that is what I was trying to do. Hello! Donate. Uh, you get a quartz. Doesn't seem like... Well, I'm doing my best archaeology. 250 gold for that. Uh, we still need smelting. Still reach level 5 in the mine. The next day it's rainy, I will go to the mine again. And I've still got a little bit of energy, so... Let's do one last cast for the day. I got algae. That's... That, that, that's really great. We're all very proud of me for finding algae. I wonder if there's any practical value to the, um... To the quartz, like, as a crafting material. I mean, quartz is generally... I mean, it has some uses... But my first priority right now is money. So I think I'm going to sell that. And sell this fish. Alright, that should be a good chunk. That should be a really good chunk of mummy tomorrow. Let's go to bed. Level two fishing. Uh, plus one fishing rod proficiency. I can now craft bait. And I made 681 gold. And today is Vincent's birthday. I am just shy of what I need. The Queen of Sauce, it's a rerun, though. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Oh, hello. Hello, Quilt. You see this cat here? Yeah, I see the cat. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I mean, if it appears to be in good health, cats will do pretty good on their own. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, do you think this farm could use a good cat? I think so. Uh, we are going to adopt you, and your name shall be... Schmoof. Well, little Schmoof, you be a good kitty now, okay? I got a kitty. I got a kitty. Alright, first priority. Harvest. Accidentally destroyed one of my things. Okay. The oh. 
Boy, it takes those beans a long time to grow. Alright, that is definitely enough money tomorrow that I will be able to buy the backpack upgrade. That is excellent news. Uh, I do have now three uh, gold star parsnips out of the five I need for the bundle. I'm using a lot less energy today, so I might hit up the mine. Gotta water the beans. Yeah, sell the parsnips, sell the good parsnips. Um, just thinking. best to just head straight to the mine with what I have right now. And uh, my goal is just going to be to hit level 5. Uh, more than gathering like very specific sets of materials, my goal is just to hit level 5. And if I'm lucky enough to find a quartz while I'm there, uh, then I can give that to Vincent as his birthday gift. I don't know. Maybe... I feel it'll mean more to him than giving him a vegetable, I should say. Uh, yes, the mine should be accessible up here. All right, let's go. Let's hit level five. Okay, we got some monster guts. And there's the way down. We're also going to prioritize copper when possible. I think it's procedurally generated, so it, it's kind of random. Oh, a geode! Okay, that's that's for the museum. Or I can have a blacksmith break it open. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's level three. I'm still doing pretty good. Get a little bit of copper. A barrel. Hmm. And here's level four. There's a slime over here. revealed the way forward. There's plenty more copper. I 
I haven't found any quartz, but I've reached level five. Okay. Can I find any quartz in here before I leave? Uh, doesn't look like it. It's mostly just monsters. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys leave me alone, okay? But I did find an elevator. I wonder if it saves my... Saves how far I can go. Like, I wonder if this just means I can now warp back to level 5 from the start. I don't know well you know, know you well enough to trust you. You know what? Totally fair. You know, we we just met. We really don't know each other. Um So the only thing I really have to offer Vincent is a geode. I mean, it's definitely not the most interesting gift. But I think he'll like it better than, like, Monster Guts or something. Vincent! I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. That's nice. Uh, excuse me, is Vincent home right now? Vincent? No, you're you're not home right now. Okay. Um Maybe he'd like a fish? I don't know. Okay. Even if I can get a money reward from my journal right now, the shop is closed Wednesdays. Reach level 40 in the mine. Okay, that is a slight escalation from level 5. Hello, Vincent. V Vincent? Vincent, are, are you around somewhere? Like, it, it's your birthday? Ooh, that's a gold quality sunfish. Yeah, screw it. Nah, I'm selling that. He can have the geode. Geodes are cool. You can smash them open with a rock and then there's like cool stuff inside. It's like a Kinder Surprise egg that you can't eat. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Thank you, sir. Maybe, maybe you were hanging out next door. Vincent? Hello, Vincent? The only thing I like about this town is the beach. That's a great idea! Thank you, Haley. I should check the beach. Maybe I can find mussels or, uh, you know, some other type of, of shelled creature. Oh. Okay, there's a couple of kids. Ooh, yeah, okay. Um, we're just gonna get rid of stone. Stone is a dime a dozen. We are absolutely taking the oyster. Ooh, there's a clam too. It's, it's okay. Don't worry about that. Don't get distracted by the clams. I think you'll love having a little friend on the farm. I think so too. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. I agree. There's Vincent. 
Vincent! Let's talk. I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. I got you a geode. Birthday present? Oh, this isn't very fun. No, it's... It's super fun! You just need a hammer! Whiny kid? How dare you not like my geological present? Well, maybe I'll do better for Haley. What do we got? A soggy newspaper. Well, that's probably not going to be a good gift for Haley either. So I'm definitely going to have enough money tomorrow to buy the uh, backpack upgrade. So that's going to make it a lot easier to do almost all the things I need to do. Um, we can also start smelting some copper. Sell the sunfish, sell the soggy newspaper. Perfect. So, how long does the furnace take to uh, actually do the smelting? Okay, that actually takes a while. But I do have another one I can smelt. A community center. I have an oyster at eh, screw it. I can I can drop the oyster off at the community center tomorrow. The important thing right now is that I'm actually starting to collect copper. And I may manage to earn enough from today. To, um... Oh! Level 2 farming. Uh, plus one watering can proficiency. Plus one hoe proficiency. I can now make a stone fence. I can now make a mayonnaise machine. Okay. And I can now make a sprinkler. Okay, a sprinkler might be good. We made nearly a thousand uh, gold today. The bookseller is in town today. Living off the land. Another tip. Woes from crows. Sounds like you need scarecrows. Yep. I know about that. How's tomorrow's weather? It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Okay. So I can make sprinklers. Waters the four adjacent tiles every morning. It takes copper and iron. So I have nothing for that. Duck mm. Oh, that 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 bothers me. That really bothers me. Uh I do have green. I think I just lost a crop. And very nearly lost more crops. Oh, I hate that. Okay, no, I, I need... Always show tool hit location. There we go. There, that is so much better.
Um, we can sell the parsnip. So today the general store is open. And I think I can now finish the uh, spring crop bundle. cute. I love him. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Okay, he's got a fishing rod in stock. That's really good news. But I have other immediate needs. Pierre, we have business to conduct. Okay, first things first, we are buying the backpack upgrade. Absolutely essential. So, I think the one that I destroyed was... Might have been the Cauliflower? I'm not 100% certain, but... I, I might have destroyed the Cauliflower. Okay, Booksellers this way. Okay, where? Where would the bookseller be? Are they hanging out above the Joja Mart? Ooh. Read this to gain some mining experience. For Ooh. Okay. You can now see the value of your item. Wow. Okay, this guy's stuff is expensive, but it definitely, uh, definitely seems like it's also going to be worth it. So. First thing, community center. Hello. I think Dad's gonna cook dinner tonight. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Daffodil. Alright, so the fish. We don't have any more fish to offer right now. Uh, a green bean. Whoop. Yeah, you need cauliflower. You also need a potato. Alright, so cauliflower... I might have accidentally destroyed my cauliflower crop. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that. But to be safe, I think it's worth getting more cauliflower. And I still need more quality parsnips. And that's a 
36 slot backpack upgrade. I'm not going to need to worry about that for a while. Ah, screw it. Just buy a bunch of parsnips. Do, do, do. And I have a bunch of fertilizer I can use, too. So I think I want to use that in order to increase my chances of higher quality um, stuff. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop when you have 75 stones and a thousand gold. Oh, and another one. Uh, I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my Adventurer's Guild. Be careful. Okay. Oh, and more. Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. Alright. So, I have a quest to find a lost axe. We're going to sell the green beans, sell the kale. I didn't turn in the oyster. Whoop. And fertilizer. Okay. So basic fertilizer we're going to put here. And then we're going to plant the cauliflower here. Make sure we water all the cauliflower. And we're going to plant some parsnips in the fertilizer here. Then water them all up. And that still leaves a crap load of parsnip seeds. And two more parsnip seeds. Water them all down. Seems to be working. There. Everything's all nice and watered. I've still got time and a decent amount of energy. So, journals, initiation, slay ten slimes, and the last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. Okay, so that's where I'm going to head. I'm going to head to the ranch and uh, see if I can find Robin's axe. Oh, you! it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer doer like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Mm. 
Uh-oh. There's something moving around in there. So she remembers uh, cutting wood south of the farm. I see wild horseradish. Any signs of a missing axe? Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. It looks abandoned. Can I cut my way in? No, I can't. Is there any chance that cutting this might give me hardwood? Nope, that's all just regular wood. Okay. How about here on this island? Could your ax be here? Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Oh, there's an axe. Only a master of the five ways may enter. You found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. Cool. So are these collectible spring onions? Hmm. I also see some wild horseradish. Not bad. Uh, can I get back to town to return the uh, axe? Yeah, I, th I think I have enough time to do that. Uh, I wonder if she's at the salon, or the saloon. Let's see, the saloon is... Yeah, directly north of me. Robin! You are not here. You live up north, right? Yeah, you live up at the carpenter's shop. Um, I may not be able to get you your axe until tomorrow, I'm afraid. Oh well. throw all this stuff in here. I still didn't take the oyster to the um, community center. Gotta remember to do that. Hello? Go to sleep for the night? I mean, is that something on my bed? Yeah, 
Oh, that's my cat. I thought, I thought, I thought some kind of a slime monster had, uh, had, had, had invaded my home. Okay, 280 gold, not too terrible. <laughs> Weather report. Clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect for the egg festival, which takes place between 9 and 7. Got it. Okay. Uh, I don't think... Anything is ready for harvest. Actually, this uh, this flower seems to be ready for harvest. A blue jazz. Uh, Dear Quill, we're holding the egg festival tomorrow in the town square. Wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. No, I would not. And then the day after that is Haley's birthday. And you know, I'll bet classy girl like that would like a flower. Perfect idea. And we also have a potato. Because sometimes you just need a potato. Water that. Water that. Water that. I think today might be the uh, perfect day. To head back into the mines. Uh, see if I can scrounge up another geode. Uh, maybe... Maybe a... Uh, I don't know. What, what else might be in there? Find some more quartz. Find some more copper. I think that's everything watered now. We'll just sell this potato. Yeah, I, th I think that's a great idea. We are absolutely going to sell this, um... We're, or, we're absolutely going to give this flower to, uh, Haley. I, th I think it'll be, like, the first gift I've given that will actually be appreciated. Alright, fish bundle. Uh, yes, you will take an oyster. So that leaves mussels, which I know you can find on the beach. And then... Just some basic stuff I'm assuming you can fish up in the ocean. Oh, right, and uh, Robin's lost axe. Robin needs her axe back, which is already open now. Um, I have to go up and around. Robin, I found your lost axe. The reward is not actually necessary, but, you know, I'm not going to say no to it. Hi there. Robin. Hey, found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. How did you manage that?
All right, now to the mine. We will quickly be able to confirm if I am able to access the deeper parts of the mine immediately. I can! Okay! Then let the mining begin. And also be on the lookout for slimes and other monsters. It's good to know now that basically whatever I find down here, I'm going to be able to bring back with me. Simple enough. And I also noticed that you had stuff over here. Somewhere in here is a way down. I just don't know where. There it is. Okay. Uh, we got slimes. Oh! And copper. And immediately I see more ways down. But the first priority is the copper. Oh, oh no. Oh wow, slimes getting on you is really annoying. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a lot of slimes. How dare you? Even more slimes. Okay. The sword by itself either doesn't use up energy or uses it at a very, very slow rate. So, I have now defeated nine slimes. And there is the tenth one. Which is great, because the Adventurer's Guild opens at... Uh, two, I believe. So now I can enter the Adventurer's Guild. All right, let's look around this floor just a little bit more. And also down here, just to see if there's any um, obvious copper. That is an earth crystal. That is new. Copper ore. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Leave the mine. Not bad. A very successful day. Ooh. Ooh. You sell some good stuff. Um, most of which I can actually already get. 
Monster eradication goals. A thousand slimes, 80 cave insects. 60 rock crabs. Come back when you got something to show me, kid. Um. Well, this this rusty sword sucks. So we can sell that. And buy a wooden blade. Which is already an upgrade. And yeah, that's that's it. So I did find an earth crystal. I can take that to the museum. Um, assuming it's going to be open. It's open till 6. It's 4.40 right now. I can probably make that. And then tomorrow is the egg festival. I'm taking this leak with me. I'm just going to have to keep my watering can selected, like, unless I'm actively using another tool. Just so I'm not regularly, like, chopping things down. Um... I don't think that's actually going to get me there. I think I need to cross the bridge. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get there today. That's okay. You know, sometimes it's just not your day, and that's okay. I accomplished a lot today. I completed more objectives. Um, I still need to get a coop so I can start raising animals. Uh, I got that. Okay. Um, Earth Crystal's gonna stay with me. I do need coal for smelting. And I can always go for a little bit of fiber. I haven't been up this way. What's up here? Oh, this is just another, um... This is just another explory path. No, I, ha I, I have been here. I was here like once or twice. Alright. No problem. Left click to gather, right click to smelt. I very nearly have enough material to do an upgrade. Copper bar. And put in the coal, the stone, the copper bars, all these wild things that I foraged. I'm curious. Is there something like on the uh, on the screen for collecting and shipping things? Is there something for literally everything I can sell? It didn't look big enough to have a slot for everything I could sell. Uh, 
But better to be certain. Uh, some of the stuff I know for a fact I haven't shipped. I can make stir fry. Weather report. How's it going to be tomorrow? Beautiful sunny day. Okay, so first things first. This is all stuff that grew from the wild seeds. And it says I got new ideas to sleep on, so I'm assuming that this means that this would come from the uh, foraging skill. Do I get seeds if I scythe them down? If I do, it didn't seem to... ...demonstrate that fact. Yeah, I don't have to be nearly as precise in my movements as I have been for watering. I really do have, like, a just a decent range on the spots I can reach just from walking around. Okay. Not bad! Um... I assume I can make more wild seeds. Yeah, I can just make 40 more wild seeds. So... Why not? Especially if this is how, like, I get up my foraging skill. Then there's really no reason not to do this. The egg festival has begun in town. I will get there soon. I just need to water all of my random wild seeds. So just just hold on. I I will be there soon. Oh. There. All right. That is all the seeds watered. And then I also need to ship my leftover daffodils, dandelions, and leeks. Alright, let's head to town. Hello, I hear you have a festival today. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Oh, okay, so... You sell... Strawberry seeds. I can buy one of those. Seasonal plants, colorful sets. No one really talks to me. I just came for the deviled eggs. Is there any more food? 
I put something nice into the punch. I'm sure you did. I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. So, just a whole bunch of eggs, huh? There's no time counter, so I assume it's just going to run until some event finish activates and finishes. And... Jam... Elliot, Leah... Everybody's just really putting in their work in the festival. Hello, Evelyn. Gus, are you, or George, are you still being grumpy? Yep, he's just being grumpy. Gus, Standy. We'll just talk to everybody. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Sometimes I'll find an egg and no one finds it. Oh no. Haley, your birthday is tomorrow. Looking forward to the flower dance. Oh, there's a dance, huh? We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis putting into that pretty quick. Oh, poor guy has allergies. All right, Lewis. Think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yeah, let's start. So, what are the rules? Uh, how do I do it and how do I win? It's time for the highlight of today's festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin! I don't, I don't know how this works. Okay, how obvious are they? Okay. They're, they're small, but they're apparent. Uh, I see two more eggs here. And I've only got another 20 seconds? That's a hell of a fast egg hunt. You, you didn't pick that up? It's literally an egg. Okay, I've got eight eggs. Surely they can't do that much more than that. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the gym sea. And now, the winner of this year's egg hunt. Abigail, how many did you get? Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Okay, but how many did she find? Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Okay, but how many did she find? This is information I need. It's necessary to tailor my expectations. Alright, now it's 10pm. Let's go to sleep. Uh, level 2 Foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. New crafting recipe, a charcoal kiln. And a nice solid chunk of money. We have reached day 14 and Haley's birthday. So what is the charcoal kiln? Turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. Okay. So it's a coal production system. Weather report. Clear and sunny. 
and Queen of Sauce, I can make Coleslaw. Alright, first thing we're going to do is hoe this spot and plant a strawberry there. Gather all of these extras that grew. Uh, I think the bean harvest is ready as well. Now let the ritual of watering commence. Okay. And this next row. And the next row. I think I very nearly have enough to uh, upgrade my um, my first tool. I can't remember if it was five or ten pieces of copper needed for, for basic upgrades. I should stop by his shop today and confirm the values that are necessary, as well as the uh, monetary costs. Although these days I am spending a crap load of time and energy just on the uh, watering. Although, not so much that it's oppressive, luckily. Alright, I do want to make sure I pet my cat today. You are a sweetheart, and I love you. Next thing, sell, daffodil, leeks, dandelions, horseradish, dandelions, green beans. And I also need to make a visit to the museum today. But, uh, my first goal is going to be to find Haley and give her her gift. So, Haley, are you home right now? Uh, I don't... Okay, that's Haley. That's Haley in her room. So she hasn't come out of her house yet. That's fine. We can make a run to the museum. Hello. The weather's interesting today, don't you think? I mean, not particularly, if I'm being honest. It's pretty standard. All right, you, sir, I have brought you an earth crystal. And I'm going to put it right here. Doesn't see, dude, I'm trying, okay? I am trying really hard. Wait, isn't the blacksmith on this side of town? Yes, he is. Okay, what precisely were your requirements for upgrades? You would also let me buy copper. Uh, five ingots. And two thousand. Interesting. Five ingots and two thousand. I do notice that you sold iron ore, which will automatically water the adjacent the four adjacent tiles every morning. Any 
kind of automation would be good. If I bought five, that would be 750. Mm. That's more than I'm willing to spend at this point. All right, who has Haley left her room yet? Yes, you have. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. All right, let's hope I got this right. Oh, you got me a birthday gift. Well, I really like it. There you go. I I did a good. I did a good. And I am very proud of myself. So what's the next important things I need to remember? Something happens on the 15th, 16th, and 17th that I'm not aware of. Uh, and then we get to Pam's birthday on the 18th. Which, well, I don't have any alcohol for her, so good luck. If I could... I, you know, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go, uh, check out the beach. I want to see how much the, um, how much a better fishing rod is. Because if I can get a fishing rod that'll let me use my bait, then I can use that. Uh, clams. At the very least, I can sell them. Yep, my farming life is going very well so far, actually. Thank you for asking. Uh, you sell a fiberglass rod for 1800 That is not unreasonable. I think that's entirely within the realm of what I can realistically achieve in a day or two. Oh, Jojo Cola. <laughs> Sir, please, I am trying to fish. For the good of the town. For the good of the city. For the good of the people. Oh. Oh, you're a sneaky one, aren't you? A sardine. Okay, I can turn in the sardine uh, for the fish bundle. But surely I can do better than a sardine. Oh, this fish is a jerk. Just a lot of three-inch sardines around town. But surely, surely I can catch something else in the ocean. There we go. Okay, let it go up. Alright, now get the chest. There we go, alright. I need to get this fish. I already unlocked the chest. I want my fish and my bonus. I got a one inch sardine. And a diamond. Okay. As a rule, the first of a thing I find goes to Gunther. The only reason the Geo didn't was because I didn't have anything better for Vincent's birthday. And he didn't appreciate it anyway because he is, well, frankly, a completely normal child. Okay. Alright, build it up. Alright, now go for the chest. Whoa. Alright, I got the chest. Now I just gotta get the fish. 
I had no idea that minuscule sardines were so hard to catch. A flounder! Ooh, that can also go for the bundle. Frozen geode. That's new. I'm getting a lot of stuff to turn in today. Oh. Got the fish. Another flounder. All right, so that's extra fish to sell. Seaweed. That does not help. All right, I'm going to have this cast and then one more after. And then we're going to go and uh, start turning in stuff. Hit. Oh. I almost got a perfect on that. Alright, my last cast of the day. And it's seaweed. Well, at least it was short-lived. Next stop, museum. You better be appreciative, sir, because I just somehow fi fished a pristine diamond out of the beach. I don't know how this happened. Donate to the museum. Okay, frozen geode he won't even accept. Cool. Uh, I'd rather get to the blacksmith. I don't know if it closes at five. No, it closes at four. Okay. So I can't do anything with my uh, frozen geodes today. Uh, it doesn't specify any day that it's closed, so I should be able to do that tomorrow. But first thing, the community center. I have some fish for them. And then the other fish I can just sell off. Do, 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 do. Fishing bundles. Uh, the ocean fish bundle. We have a sardine. Oh, uh, nothing for a flounder. Okay. Well, I was able to turn in one thing, and that still leaves me a lot to sell today. Although, we haven't spoken today. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Oh, good for you. That's a very good attitude to have. Bye, sir. You know what? I am extremely pleased with how things went today. I got a lot done. I've got through the first half of my first season in Stardew Valley. And I've got clams, oysters, cans, sardines to sell, uh, flounders... For tomorrow, we can go to the blacksmith and give him the frozen geodes. Um, I think I can just sell these off, honestly. Uh, yeah, probably. 
We'll, ha we'll have to see how well the crops do. Um, and we're just going to chop down a tree and then call it a day. There, I risked it for the one last swing. How much wood are we sitting on? 205 wood now? That's a pretty good chunk. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, for today. It's been about four hours. I made... I made over 1,500 gold. I can actually afford uh, that new fishing pole right away. Um, I think that's excellent. I think I did extremely well. I'm very proud of what I did today. Uh, I'm going to stream some more tomorrow. And uh, I will see you all on the next one.